Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to Boardwalk Hall and the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk. This is a 12-rounder. Here's round number one. Dynamite's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. A headshot block. Nice strike after catching one by a Vander Holyfield. Use the ring! Use the ring! Teddy, do you think this is the kind of matchup where we're going to see a lot of movement? Yeah, I think so, especially if the faster fighter gets his way. He knows he's fighting a guy that hasn't gone rounds too often. He's going to want him to walk. He's going to want to make sure he burns up. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Dynamite's on, punch come didn't come close. That was nice. He just threw the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Evander Holyfield. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Boy, oh boy, that's tough to take. Evander Holyfield knife down with a hook to the body. Dynamite's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Good flush shot by Dynamite. Digs into the belt line with a hook. A Vander Holyfield's nailed by a huge hook. Holyfield's proving to be elusive. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Looking to the body. Now, here's a perfect example of where you can actually see confidence growing in a fight. He was able to stun his man in that last round, and you just get a sense that he's a bigger, better fighter than he was before. Well, I agree with you, Joe. You, it's the accumulation of damage that's starting to get to him right now. Vander Holyfield's hit by a counter punch there. Dynamite's punch is far off the target. A good counter punch by Vander Holyfield. Holyfield's coming up big here early on in the fight because he just showed his opponent, hey, listen, you got to be careful. I can counter punch you. No better way to slow down your opponent. You know, we know the other way you slow down. You hit him right on the chin and you make them say, hey, I don't want to walk in, but when you make them miss and you counter, that slows them down too. Evander Holyfield with the big uppercut. Flush right hand to the body. Dynamite's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Wow, nice flush left hand. Dynamite's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Oh, keep your feet moving. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. Nice work blocking that, and then an uppercut of his own. Holyfield's nailed by a hook. Final 10 seconds of round number two. And that's the end of round two. Evander Holyfield back in his corner now, probably reflecting on what was a very solid round. Now, he didn't overwhelm his guy with a quantity of punches, but he was so effective with what he did put forth. Yeah, you're right. You know, a lot of times people think that the muscles that count the most in any sport 
especially in this sport, such a difficult sport, is, you know, the biceps, the physical things that you see, you know, the chest, the back. You know, this guy's got the strong muscle off top, you know, over his shoulders, in between his shoulders, his brain. And that's why he's picking the spot so well. That muscle is serving him, serving him to win this fight. Nothing there on the punch by Dynamite. Holyfield's left, landing well. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counterpunching. Hit the bar. Evander Holyfield's on the wrong end of a destructive uppercut. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Evander Holyfield's had success so far, just based on his pure hand and foot speed. But there is some concern. Yeah, you know, you got a guy with a real fast car. He needs a racetrack. He needs the right place to use that speed to kind of run with it a little bit. Right now, his opponent needs to change that landscape. Don't give him that racetrack. Step out of range a little bit and leave him there. Let him shadow box. But don't stay in a position where he could be effective. Scores up top with a left. Keep moving your head. Come on, keep moving. Evander Holyfield's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Dynamite scoring with that solid. Of this round, he's gonna try to survive it. One, two. A Vander Holyfield's back up on his feet. What will he look like in the next few moments of this fight? That's the big question. Let's go. This fight's real close. It's too close. We don't want this to go to the judge. He's given up two rounds on Teddy's scorecard as we begin round number four, but I think he's got a pretty bright future in this fight. Evander Holyfield's in a tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. Blocks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. Holyfield's recuperative abilities being tested to the limit here. Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now, we talk about the fighter, but it's important right now for the corner, for the referee, for the doctor to know that he does have those kind of recuperative powers. So they give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the ref gives him a little more time than he gives somebody else. Turns over that hook upstairs. Holyfield's nose is now starting to bleed. Halfway through round number four. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercut. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Well, he really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Evander Holyfield. There. He was just tagged by a big uppercut. End of the round there. He was able to stun his opponent. Teddy, when you're training a guy that's coming off a round where he just got to his man, what do you do? Do you say, hey, I saw that, and here's how you did it? How do you approach that? Well, you want to make sure you remind them exactly what you're talking about, how he set it up. Don't think about just the big punch that landed. Remember how you got to that point. Well off the mark by Dynamite. 
Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. And now they're trading blows. Great work offensively landing that combination by Evander Holyfield. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Off the target by Evander Holyfield. A little something of his own. Blocks a shot, brings back the uppercut. Holyfield's able to avoid that punch. That is exactly what... Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? Get up! One, two, three, four, Stand five. up, stand up! Holyfield's back up. But is he back in the fight? We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. I like the way he went up top that time. Evander Holyfield's hit by a right hand. Dynamite's got things going on his side now. Remember, this fight was going against him. Now, a good rally by him. Some of that body work there, even when he was losing the rounds, that body work, it's starting to pay dividends right now. Ten clicks of the talk. Nice work, the left hand to the head. And that's the end of round five. Right. Evander Holyfield's got to find a way to take what he just did in that last round and keep that kind of energy moving forward here because I do believe he's ahead on the scorecards in a close fight. Very close fight. Yeah, I see it about the same way, but you just said it. It's very important that his corner people now don't really tell him that he's ahead. I think they let him think that if he's not behind, it's a dead even fight and keep pushing. Keep pushing right there. Stay responsible, stay within yourself, but keep pushing. Fires off the hook. Look at that. Holyfield showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Holyfield's movement really helped. Big shot there. Remember earlier on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Halfway through round six. He just missed that shot up top. Blocked by Holyfield. Hit the body! Worked by Evander Holyfield. He was looking for an opportunity. He got it with that counter punch. Yeah, he stepped to the side. You know, a lot of times right you now. talk about using your jab to set up a shot. He used his legs. Stepped to the side, got that opportunity. Dynamite's taken a lot of punishment with the right hand. Teddy, you've said many times it's where you put your own head when you get hit by those right hands. Well, one place I could tell you where not to put it in the middle. And he needs to move it to the left outside that right hand. Listen. Here we go, action to start the seventh round. Dynamite's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. 
Evander Holyfield's on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. Yes, Miss that uppercut. Finish with the hook. Nice Took a work. shot. Now nice he gives work. a left. <laughs> Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Halfway through the seventh round. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Dynamite's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Dynamite now switching things up. He was knocked down earlier, so now he's going to try to take a different course. Now, that tells me, if I'm his opponent, a couple of things. Either that he's very clever, that he's making a little switch, or just gives me confidence that he's dead. You know, he's never done this before, and in my mind, I'm saying I got him right where I want him. with the combo to the head. And round seven comes to an end. Okay, now keep your hands up. Keep them up. I caught you with your hands down. So let's keep them up, all right? Teddy's scorecard at the start of round number eight here. One guy up big, but Dynamite's got that ability, Teddy. He has it in him. He put him down earlier. He could do it again. And he just has to be reminded of that. In Solid right hand lands. Big, big shot comes crashing home. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Good accuracy with that uppercut. Good way to finish the left hook to the head with the uppercut. Evander Holyfield's been having great success with these combinations, Teddy. Well, there's a reason for it. He's using his jab to start it, and then he's letting the punches go, letting the hands follow. Look at that combination by Dynamite. That's right. Body shot. Body shot. The halfway point of round number eight. I need to see some head movement. More head movement. He missed with that head shot. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. And he's holding. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Evander Holyfield. Come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking out there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. He has a new round in front of him, but I don't know that there's any new hope. He's been down numerous times tonight, including that last round. You never know what a person's capable of when they're pushed to the brink. But this would be very unlikely. It would be spectacular. Perry's 
that punch intended for the head. And a well-targeted combination by Dynamite. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Left and right. Left and right. Come on, baby. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Nice block by Dynamite. <laughs> Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. <laughs> Halfway through the ninth round. Dynamite's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Evander Holyfield's giving his opponent fits right here. His head movement is making for such an elusive target. Yes, it is. Now the opponent has to make an adjustment. He has to realize that he's finding air more than he's finding any surface up top. So go downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. That is starting to take away some of that head movement. And a good counter by Dynamite. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Evander Holyfield. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. And that's the end of round nine. Holyfield's in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Evander Holyfield. Holyfield's combination punching is working well here. Wow, Teddy, he's got some great hand speed there. That combination was an example of it. Yeah, it was. You know, not a lot of power, not a lot of pop with it, but boy, it catches your attention. And you know what? That kind of speed can intimidate a guy and keep his opponent maybe from moving his hands later on. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Way through round 10. Combos, combos. Well placed, jab straight. Body shot, body shot. Good job. That hook was well off the mark. Pace yourself, You're doing good. Towards the end of the 10th round, 10 seconds to go. And this round comes to an end. This is yours. You hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Teddy, you've been in this spot before. Championship rounds have arrived. I'm looking over at your scorecard. Holyfield's up big. But there's always that chance. There's always that lottery ticket that could be landed. Exactly, he was looking to cash in on it, and I think it would come with the right hand, because every once in a while that left hand drags back a little slow, and I think the right hand has a chance to pull this one out. Landing two jabs by Evander Holyfield. Dynamite showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, 
I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. Good work by Dynamite. Yeah, real smart there. Making them miss, making them pay. Focus. Focus. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Super two-punch combo by Dynamite. Hard to see a way in which this fight changes. I mean, he's been outworked. That round just proved it again. He's been outworked consistently all night long. Well, look, you want to stay with the fundamentals. You don't want to get away from that. You want to use a jab. You want to bring your feet. You know, you want to get into certain ranges. But at this point, you have to find a way to land a big punch. You have to emphasize that to your fighter. It is desperation time. You have to go after him. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Evander Holyfield. Side, 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 side. Nice jabs there by Evander Holyfield. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Nice defense. Good block by Evander Holyfield. Last minute of this last round. He got hit, but he sends it right back. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Last 10 seconds of the fight. Well, you should lose your judge's license if you have it any other way but the obvious here, Teddy. Yeah, if they do that, I want to put those guys on a poster, a wanted poster, if you don't want them. Here's our ring announcer. Holyfield's performance tonight was exactly what he was looking for. And it's exactly what the judges reward. Good, solid effort, a unanimous decision. Yeah, if he was a pitcher, he'd be getting a shutout right now. Almost a perfect game. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.